barely making it to this flight right now to Prague. I am so excited. Okay, my camera cut me off, but I'm on the taxi. I had no time to pack. I spent the day in Amsterdam and then I flew home on the taxi, packed, and now I'm headed to the airport. So I'll see you guys in Prague. Decorations are still up. You guys, do they have these weighing machines in America? I'm sure they do, but I've never seen them. This is so helpful. I just went and got these waffles. I guess they only make these here. Honey syrup waffles. And then these caramel filled waffles. They look so good. I'm gonna bring some back for my family. Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me Pour your honey sickly sweet Keeps me coming, got me weak You could kill me, I'd still be Darling, you're number six feet deep Oh, it's real hard to break this habit It's like I want you 24-7 When I'm without you, boy Hey, you guys, I think I'm gonna get this I wanna try something that's traditional here I feel safe, think you look better Feels as good as you do If you ever leave, I'll be real sad Let's both hope that it don't get so bad Pour your honey, sickly sweet Keeps me coming, got me weak You could kill me, I'd still be Darling, you're number six feet deep Oh, it's real hard to break this habit It's like I want you 24-7 When I'm without you, boy, I feel sick Think you look better than my prescriptions Better than my prescriptions
feeling someone tried sliding down these so they put spikes here on this side and then on this side <laughs> gorgeous restaurant at called this i can't pronounce this obviously boom it's really cool because i speak russian and i don't understand so many words here like even when they talk i can understand them it's so cool i got one of their like traditional czech desserts i think this is called like a vetrinik or something but looks so good and then i got a cappuccino oh and then this is an opera house we're at the, the restaurant at the opera house and then my auntie got a lemon cheesecake and a latte. You guys, is this dessert supposed to be like this? It's a little OD on the custard. Is this custard? It's really good though. I take it back, I ate almost all of that dessert. <laughs> After saying that it was too much, and now I feel so sick, but it was so good. Also, I look like a walking Claire ad. Like, Wonclair sponsor me. <laughs> Medicine is Ligarsko Lekarna Avenue. In Czech, it sounds so similar to Russian. I just bought this one. I use the Baccarat Rouge perfume religiously. This one smells even better. I never thought it was possible, but this one is cheaper. My aunt uses it. Not as sweet. I've tried out so many of these perfumes. I need to smell these. It is crazy how many they have. The packaging on these, so pretty.
had numbers in their address. The address was the name of the building. This building used to be named Utri Muske. I can't Tiro? I can't even say it, but how cool is that? And that's how you would tell people where you lived is by the name of the building. You make me want to be with somebody Doing things that the store also recommended this one for me she was like if you like that one you'll love this one i smelled it it smells amazing okay i got the coffee in the coffee maker and now i have to figure out how does this work oh wait i think i'm supposed to hold the power oh it did something Oh, yep. This sounds like it's gonna explode. <laughs> Since Armenia, I will honestly always prefer, besides my Nespresso pods, Armenian coffee. It's so good. It's so perfectly made. It tastes amazing. But the one thing, you have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't boil over. You're supposed to wait for it to come to a boil and then you take it off. But if you miss that, it just spills and oh my god, it's horrible. But it makes the most perfect cup of coffee. You guys hear that? I hear it. Here, the bubbles rolling at the bottom. It's almost time. You have to take it off at like the perfect time, right before it spills over. Do I see the bubbles at the top? Ooh, it's almost time. Okay, there we go. It almost spilled. You guys see that? So my aunt has, is it my aunt? It's my mom's cousin. So I think my mom's cousin is my first cousin removed who's related to my family. I just call an aunt or an uncle that's like older than me because I feel kind of weird calling someone that's older than me a cousin. Like someone that's like my mom's age or my dad's age, like my cousin. I don't know, I'd rather just say aunt and uncle. Also in my country, more respectful to say like aunt, aunt and then their name as opposed to just saying like their name. Or okay, anyway, now that we're past that, my aunt got these from Paris. My first time trying them there are these lint dark chocolates with hazelnuts in them they're so good i have to find them here she said they're just like at any candy store i'm gonna find these and i'm gonna take them home these are my new favorite chocolates are we focused we're focused okay i'm leaving it kind of it gets dark so early here i'm not even joking it's 2 30 getting pretty dark huh how beautiful i'm so excited i'm gonna go for a walk so i think it's like a thing to go on walks in cemeteries um my grandma told me how my grandma and my grandpa would walk through cemeteries do people in america do that i just go to like visit my dead relatives not to just go on like walks is that a thing in europe or is that just what i'm hearing <laughs> myself ever but i'm alone for the next like two hours so i decided to take myself out on a little lunch date for the first time i've never even gone by myself in america i'm really proud of myself first date by myself in europe if you know me you know i cannot go out by myself i also don't do these travels by myself by the way in case you guys are wondering i'm never alone ever i just don't record who i'm with just for like privacy the waiter at the restaurant i was at is italian he told me that i need more than one boyfriend he was like one gets boring no Listen. Is sweater and in 
in check. That says sweet three. It's so similar. I got these hazelnut croissants and then I got an almond croissant. I actually already like kind of picked off a piece off of both of these. This one was so moist. I was drooling in the Uber on the way back. These smell so good. If you guys are wondering, this is how I shoot my TikTok. My screen isn't broken. That's just the screen cover thing. But I have this like, it's not focusing, but it's a little selfie light. I just shot a TikTok of me trying these. That one girl on TikTok, what is her name? It's Jay Nice. Anything she eats, she'll be like, it's whatever. I love her. That's honestly how I feel about these croissants. I don't know if it's because it's cold and I didn't warm them up first. They didn't even give them to be warmed up. Like, they didn't even ask. They just were like... They just took them off the display and were like, here you go. But I've never not been asked if I wanted a pastry warmed up in America, so... Falling apart. This is the almond one. And then, and this one was... This one is really dense. My grandma's calling me. Look. And there's like an almond paste in the middle. The Nutella one is also disappointing because I look so crazy. I need to go take a shower. I've been out all day. I'm just like exploring. But for the hazelnut croissant, it was so disappointing. They kind of filled it like a cannoli, I think. They just filled it on like both ends. I'm used to like the croissants. If they have a filling, it's just like all throughout. I don't know if that's just only a thing in America. Or if they were just being kind of stingy with the, the hazelnut filling. Anyway, these are whatever. I love her. It's whatever. Hey guys, this is my fit. I have my beanie. And then I'm wearing this coat I got from Montclair. It's so cute and warm. It says Mon here and then Claire on the back. I feel like this is a little better. My auntie's house is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Anyway, okay, so I'm wearing this beanie. I never layer ever. I didn't realize how much I love dressing for warm weather because I live in LA and it's always warm there and I always just end up throwing on like a crop top and shorts but cute and warm and then this jacket and then I'm wearing this Zara cropped sweater and I realize I have a problem I only have cropped shirts I buy cropped shirts or crop tops because I live in LA and I either wear a crop top or a sweatshirt there's really no in between and then I'm wearing these Bershka I don't know if you guys can tell Bershka flare denim jeans I got from Armenia I love these and then just some Air Forces and that's the fit I'm gonna go meet my aunt she went to her nail appointment I'm gonna go meet her for lunch and I'll see you guys there I don't know what any of this is. It's all in Czech, but I'm gonna get this. I asked for an English menu now, and this is what I got. The whole Czech, whole, whole mat. I got a double espresso. Okay, I have my beverages, my beer, my water, coffee. I think this is like a dumpling, which is like bread, fat, and then something else, I forget. Yeah, this is what it is. Looks really good. Oh my god, I'm so full. We killed this. I noticed that it's like little bread, fat, potato, dumpling, different kinds of that is very popular here. And then meat is really popular here. So this is duck and cabbage. Oh, and beer. <laughs> Cider. Oh, it's really good.
that they have these like fur blankets or fur covers they put in all the chairs in the cafes. <laughs> I got this roll called the crystal salmon roll and then this is the crunchy salmon roll I think it looks so good I'm starving and then I got a white wine too this looks amazing I love the presentation when I come to other countries this hot water little teacup I just ripped this open and it got everywhere you're supposed to steep it Oops. <laughs> 